bad day Shit really screwed up in school but I know everything's fine it just sucks when technical difficulties you know I love you guys I feel like we never talk anymore this is my OG original gal right prairie Prairie's been through a lot, you know? Moving back and forth to New York, getting introduced to her brother that she never wanted, and then back here. Okay, she's about to punch me. Great. This has been really bothering me. This is a giant chunk of yarn that's been sitting on my table for months now. And this is some waste, waste yarn that I saved from two years ago. So after you have weaved up until you could, you just unwind everything, take it off, and this is the portion that's thrown out. These are really beautiful colors and this is wool and I just couldn't bear to throw it away so I hoarded it and I tried to use it in some samples for school didn't put it away it used to be under my bed and it just really bothers me so I'm gonna for fun I'm gonna make pom-poms out of it because I have this pom-pom maker that I also got two years ago so why not I think it will make me enjoy not only is it cute and fun but it's very therapeutic if you knit or do anything of the sort. I mean, painting too is therapeutic, but I'm just gonna do this while I go on my computer. After two intensely therapeutic hours, I have used up all the yarn, and I managed to make one proper garland. Wow! <laughs> and another string of mini garland, and a few random singles. I ran out of yellow just before I could make symmetrical earrings, so this is half and half. Might make them into earrings, who knows, it's quite big. <laughs> mm, I can see it. I'm so satisfied because I used up everything. Instead of throwing away all that yarn, I now have really cute decorations. And I just have to commend my two cats for being so good this entire time because I was wrapping yarn and just flinging string here and there and you know trimming it and they didn't come near me and they didn't bother me I mean Bambi came near me a couple times and I would just be like get away get away this is my stuff like ah. they kept their distance I think they can really feel when they should not mess with me time to hang this up I might as well hang it up over there let me see I was gonna meet a friend for dinner he came early, so I'm just gonna go. I'm so sick and tired of seeing this piece of foam. This old material that I used for that stop motion animation I made. Yeah. Oh, mistletoe. Where you can see. Here it is. The garland it is time for the hanging. Should fit like this. Lovely. 
You guys like it? Should have done that earlier. I want to make a bunch now. <laughs> I'm gonna be pom pom girl. I think they look rather nice. Don't you think this makes me look like the girl from A Bad Case of Stripes? So it's the next day, or should I say night? I am doing okay. I think that with school I realized, maybe because my classmate brought it up, that when you're in the campus bubble and all you see are your professors and your fellow classmates, especially my department. I only see 20 people or less. Often forget other things such as there's more to life than school and I, and I really think about how in December I'm gonna go home to see my family and when I am here for a while, I get really used to being on my own and I get comfortable and productive, but I really hold on to my memories. When I was writing this week, while I was brainstorming, I wrote a line that said something like, memories give me power. I refer back to them and it's like dusting off old books in a private library. That's probably not how it sounded like, but that was the concept of my metaphor. I do rely on my memory a lot to be grateful for things. I get to look back on my vlogs, which is why I make them. And I was watching some December dailies from last year and I look forward to seeing my cousin again. And I think that we are all stressed out by our family in one way, right? Like we're always like, yeah, when there's a lot of people around, things are hectic. We never really had big family gatherings or didn't really do a lot of extended family things. Last Christmas, it was nice that Tyler got to spend it with us in California and then our relatives came over too. And then for everybody to just be in one place, hi. And to not really have to do anything, but you're just around people that you don't, need to constantly be actively thinking about what should I say next, what do I need to say next, how should I approach them because while I know my friends at school here, it's just different than knowing people for over 10, over 20 years. I don't really know what this video is aside from me just talking, whether or not this is helpful or this is just nice noise for you to do your homework to, that's perfectly fine. I wanted to also list some things that really perked my day up yesterday and some things I appreciate. I love that Bambi always tries to hold my hand. Yesterday I was in a really bad mood, not because it was very justified, honestly. I could tell, okay, I'm in a bad mood because this thing I was anticipating for my finals was just messing up and I feel like that the one hour I had to, to be on this because we all have to share the machine so I only get one hour a week, I wasted it. Maybe I could have done something to prevent that from ripping like the fabric. In that moment, I just thought, okay, like try to turn things around, you know, but then because I was being a little bit too self-aware, I think I felt more and more like I was slipping down the slope, no matter how many times I was like, you're fine. Don't be in a bad mood, you're fine. And the more I was saying that, the more I was like, oh, but maybe I am in a bad mood. So afterwards, I wanted to ride my bike because endorphins can get it going. So I rode my bike to the post office so I can mail out the giveaway winners. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I have tiny giveaways on my Instagram sometimes. So I mail the parcels out and at the post office, the woman who is working there, I've seen her before because I've gone to this location a couple times and I've always thought that she was so warm and so smiley and I just, I just, when I walked in, I was happy to see her, even though I, I don't even know her name and she probably doesn't recognize me because my hair has changed so much this year. And I guess on that bad day, it was just so nice to come across her. And when I was addressing the letters, I, I recycle my mail packages, by the way. So I was using these old yellow envelopes and I wrote in orange ink so she was like you're gonna have to readdress this with the sharpie so i did and she was being so patient while i was just writing the addresses you know normally they're just like yeah come back when you're done with it there was no one in line except me but normally they would just be yeah like go over there and then come back when you're done but she just let me and then i was apologizing but she was just like 
no no and it's just so nice because of all the times i feel guilty for something or when i see other people feel bad for things i really try to express in some way to them that they shouldn't or i try to make somebody who clearly feels awkward know that i don't feel awkward or uncomfortable so they can relax if something embarrassing happened that i don't find that embarrassing so that they don't need to be embarrassed or ashamed and when i feel that reciprocated from someone it feels so good afterwards i went next door and i bought some ground is that what it's called i always mix up coffee ground because sometimes I used to say coffee grind, but it's coffee ground because I'm low on mine. I hated the one I got last time from, I think it was like Bolt Coffee. <laughs> no shade. Like, I'm sure that some people like their coffee ground. I think I got the seasonal one or maybe not. Never mind. I did not like it at all because compared to the one I loved in Toronto, that one was so flat. It's just... Mm -mm. So I kind of look forward to finishing that one and replacing it with a new coffee ground from a new cafe And at this place, it was my first time in there So I was just like, where's everything? And I looked really clumsy And I was just saying like, okay, sorry, this is my first time in here I'm looking for some coffee ground, but I have an espresso machine But I don't necessarily want to put espresso in it Like I just like to use coffee ground So that's what I'm doing And um, the person at the counter I don't know if I looked at his name tag or not. Oh, I forgot his name, but he had very beautiful blue eyes and a very kind smile and he was so nice. He walked out of the counter. He was like telling me about them and he clearly seemed amused by my overt. <laughs> While I was checking out, he asked, you know, you get a cup for free. Would you like anything? And I said, can I have something with soy? <laughs> and he was like, a soy latte? And I was like, sure, yes, yeah, soy latte. And I gave him my friend Lana's name. I decided not to have the coffee. I was going to give it to her. So he was like, okay, Lana, here you go. Have a great day. And that was just another very nice interaction. And then I walked to Lana's store, which is on Thayer Street here in Providence. She has Impact Everything. I've talked about the store a couple of times. And she was working and I just popped in and gave her the soy latte like hi I haven't seen you in a while we should get dinner and I went home and then I got dinner with my friend last night as I mentioned it was really nice because I basically had some questions from my friend about if they can help me make something for my finals because I wanted a frame for my my knitwear and I'm, I, I will talk more about that probably in the vlogs I'm thinking about doing December daily because, you know, December is creeping up. I really enjoy looking back at the ones from last year. It's going to be really hectic trying to do that every day. But as of now, I am planning to do December daily. I just wanted to now end this video chat with you by saying thank you so much for being here. Even though we may not know each other, and this is an interesting relationship nowadays because you have all of these vloggers online that you you know so personally and it's like a one-way relationship it's a really unique 21st century thing despite most of the time just being a silent viewer because i'm a silent viewer for a lot of my favorite youtubers bubs i love you if you're watching this i love you just know that whatever you comment i will always read it so i i really appreciate the time and the effort and I'm truly truly grateful for this community so for however long that we are here together uh, thank you thank you for cheering me up because vlogging does cheer me up and I'll see you in the next video good night bye